to be here with uh, Monsieur Philippe Manouri, distinguished composer at uh, Centre Ircam. Uh, Mr. Manouri has written a wonderful trio for us, for the Vidaire Trio, at the Michigan Trio. I'm delighted to have the opportunity to be here and ask him about the work and also about his own work and influences on his work. I was interested, and I'm sure people will be interested, in how you approach the violin, clarinet, piano combination, how you think of the three instruments, and, uh, and uh, so how, you, how that led you to, to writing the composition you did. For me, it was a quite new experience, because uh, I was, in that time, when I have composed this Michigan trio, I was more involved in big orchestral piece or a big electronic music piece and uh, I have no um, I have uh, written very few compositions for little instruments yeah. and uh, also with uh, piece in many movements yes. with very short movements and for me it was like a challenge to 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 go uh, through uh, another kind of um, chamber music yes. uh, without electronic yes. and a um, um, very short piece because that uh, gave us some new problem problems on on the times you know, the musical times because yes. we, we 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 can make a, a very uh, great uh, development and and my idea it was to to compose short pieces and uh, for me. Uh, the violin, the piano, and the clarinet are effectively very different because it's woodwinds and string and quite percussion. Yes, percussive. not not homo homogeneous. No, it's not like a yeah. string quartet or exactly. like a string exactly. or, or, or yeah. a, a yes. brass quintet, something yes. like that. But for me, I I, I think uh, I've found some uh, some way to to mixture the, the both. For example, yes. if you remember, there is one movement when uh, the clarinet play inside the piano yes and uh, uh, the clarinet is inside the the piano and uh, the the piano has, has all the keys open and we can hear the harmonics of the resonance of the piano uh, according to the clarinet tones yes and uh, it is uh, like uh, if the piano is a reverberation of the clarinet. Yes. And the violin play some part of the, those notes. Yes. Uh, yes. And in that case, we have, uh, in fact, the same uh, colors. Yes. And one instrument is uh, like a resonator of the other, and the, the violin is, uh, is like a, a filter in this uh, yes. uh, resonator. Yes. Yes. And... Um, also, uh, another part of this piece, uh, I think from the last movement, uh, the more, most difficult. Yes, you, you, yes, you yes. Can, for me, that's you quite can a be sure. <laughs> finger breaker. <Yeah. laughs> and uh, my idea, it, it was to, to, to give the ideas uh, the, of the, the, uh, the three instruments are playing in different way. Yes. Because the, 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 the violin is playing very uh, aggressive chords yes. every time yes. uh, and, uh, and very complex uh, uh, chords of four, four tones. Yes. And, and the piano is playing something very uh, rhythmic and with yes. some, so something like bells in the middle yes. and some, some notes in the high register and the low register. Yes. And uh, the clarinet is playing something very uh, uh, aggressive also, but um, uh, with some, some uh, uh, with um, a melody um, which has nothing to do with the violin yeah. and the piano. Yeah. Uh, and uh, something I, I have the idea in some part of this piece to, because those three instruments are very different each of for, uh, yes. from each to another to uh, to give the, the idea that uh, each musician is playing a um, complete different piece yes uh, with some 
connection. Some yes. connection, of yes. course. Yeah. But the the, uh, the direction of the three instruments yeah. are very uh, dif different. And the end of this piece uh, is um, the clarinet. The clarinet is uh, stopping the first, and uh, the violin after is stopping. Uh, some, um, I think. 20 seconds after the yes. clarinet, and the piano is 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 Keep finishing. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. and uh, but it is no idea of coda. Uh, that means each instrument stop when you when you when want. When they're finished. Yes, when it's finished, <laughs> and it's yeah. like if you have some cut in yes. the music. Yes. And if you want, for me, the the, the challenge was the, the opposite of uh, three different instruments. Sometimes in the same area, in yes. the same colors, yes. and sometimes is in very different category and very different uh, streams. Yes, yes. You, you had written more longer, uh, larger scale works before. Uh, did the did the fact that this was a small ensemble of only three people did that have any influence on you in making it a more small movement? Yes, of course, because. Yeah. Uh, it's impossible for me to imagine to, to compose a, a string uh, uh, or a string or uh, a trio yeah. with clarinet, violin, and piano or, uh, from in very large, uh, yeah, yeah. for example, large one form. hour of music. Yeah, yeah, is, sure. is, 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 I think it there is some connection between um, uh, the very little ensemble mm -hmm. and very short piece. I yes. think for me the, the idea is quite the same. Yes. Uh, and when I compose a very long piece, generally it's for big orchestra yeah. or electronics. And yeah. uh, where well, you have m yes. many more coloristic yes. possible. And, and in that case, we can have more um, uh, possibility to, to change the timbres and, and, to, yes. and yeah. to, 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 uh, to, to compose some, some music in a very um, different uh, way. I mean, for example, uh, you can have uh, some part of the music uh, playing by the strings and f maybe 10 minutes or one quarter of hours later, the same uh, materials playing by another kind yeah. of uh, woodwinds sure. on, on brass. Yeah. Sure. But in that case, you, can have, you have time to... to and, but with those three instruments, I think it, for me it was most more uh, interesting and most more uh, attracting. Yes. To 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 compose very sh sh short yes. pieces. Yes. Well, they're delightful pieces. You catch a mood and an atmosphere in each piece. That uh, it's wonderful. We always enjoyed playing mm -hmm. them. And uh, how does the musical inspiration strike you? You know, like in, well, each in the first movement. You know how the second movement yeah. is a different character, of yeah. course. Uh, uh, each movement is completely uh, um, characterized by uh, something yes. very specific. Does it just come to you? Uh, yes, you know, it's, uh, it's, in, it's quite difficult to, to answer this question because uh, uh, we don't know uh, from where. From, from where the, the inspiration idea, comes, yeah, Or the idea yeah. uh, yeah. come. And uh, I remember, for example, uh, uh, the idea of the uh, second piece uh, I think it, it came from a um, little bit influenced by uh, some legacy pieces, uh -huh. yes, yeah. with with this ostinato and yeah. it's, li it's like a, a machine uh, yes. with yes. Uh, going itself. Yes. And, yes. Uh, yeah. uh, but uh, for, uh, for me, uh, the I the idea of of each um, each movement is like a window, and we can imagine, for example, the. Uh, uh, the piece is finished after one moment, but yeah. uh, it is nothing in the piece. Uh, who I, 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 it, it, there is no coda in, in, in this music, for example. Uh, I, I want to finish uh, some 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 movement, but uh, I have no musical uh, uh, ideas uh, which are uh, in the function of coda. To yes. finish. It's, it's yeah. like now I have to finish and I finish. I stopped. Yes. But it's, impo it's possible to imagine that the music could could uh, continue yeah. after. Yeah. You know, it's it's like when you 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 are uh, in in front of a beautiful landscape and uh, if you 
shut the doors. Yeah. The landscape, uh, you can see the landscape, but the yeah. landscape uh, yes. still exists. Yes. And yes. Uh, I, I have those stuff. idea of, yeah. uh, in that piece. Those pieces must be uh, longer if I want. Yes. But sometimes I, I just uh, decide to finish and to present mm -hmm. an, an aspect of, of, yes. uh, of the speech. And the last movement is, uh, in some part, is a, is a development of a little cellular of the first movement, uh -huh. with just these yeah. two notes uh, in the high pitch on the piano. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. uh, it's just exposed in, in three or two times in the first movement, yeah. and it's one of the main um, yes. um, Mot uh, motives, uh, motives in yeah. the last movement. Yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah. No, it's very effective, and the, the movements contrast, and and they and they work together so well. So uh, we've always had uh, very good success with it. So, and also the, there is a literature with uh, violin, uh, piano, and and clarinet, yes. like uh, Bartok or yes. Berg. Uh, yes. And, uh, of well, course, I have here you those have music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so now your piece belongs to yes. the literature. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, I think it's not an accident if you decide to, to yes. have this kind of trio because yes. you have some yes. piece to play.
do you mind just telling us a little about your what your early influences? Uh, your, where did you study and uh, who were major influences? Oh, uh, in my studies when I I was in the conservatory, uh, my two major influences was Boulez and Stockhausen. I think for me it it was the the most important composer for my musical education as yes, a composer. Sure. And uh, uh, and I came to IRCAM uh, in 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 the early eighty. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, I spent I think one year and a half in Brazil when I, I was teaching there. And uh, before to to go to Brazil, I'll, I I was in IRCAM and I say I I want to make some research musical research in computer. Yeah. Yes. And it was the beginning of computer uh, yes. in that times, and I have a, a project, a scientific project. And mm. when I come back to France after my my uh, trip in Brazil, uh, it was surprised that they they have accepted my my project, and uh, I am uh, still that that time I I work not every time here, but I have some contact with this. Um, yes. And after uh, one. Period of I think three or four years, I have um, a specific collaboration with an uh, American mathematician, uh, Miller Puckett. He is now uh, teaching in San Diego, California, oh, yeah. and he has uh, invented a lot of program in real time. And I was involved principally in the real time music. Yes. That means my first uh, or my most important contribution to. To this research is to make collaboration between live instruments or acoustic instruments mm -hmm. and electronic music, yes. and uh, to 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 have some uh, um, uh, interaction. For example, if the pianist or the, or the flutist mm -hmm. or the singer uh, play in different way, uh, it must be forte, forte or pianissimo yeah. or slower or faster. Yeah. Uh, that can change the uh, electronic music. Oh, that 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 means the uh, electronic system follow the can, instrument can react and can yeah. react in yes. some part. And yes. uh, and uh, that means the electronic music is no something very uh, stable and yeah. like a tape, yeah. you know. And yes. but is is uh, music you can have some possibility of of moving, of yes. transformation, of modulation, yes. and uh, it depends. Does depend of the way to play. Uh, from the instrument, uh, instrumentalist. That means some, in some part of this music, the electronic system analyzes the interpretation. Mm. And uh, mm. when she re receives the result of, of those analyses, yeah. uh, it's some system, uh, we have built some system to uh, modify yes. the music itself. And the music is never exactly the same. It's yes. like instrumental music. Yes. When you play a Beethoven piece or something like that, you play never exactly yes, the, same, course, the same course, tempo, yes. the same yes. uh, articulation. It's every time something uh, mm. uh, different. Okay. And I want to, to, to catch this possibility of interpretation yes. Yes. in the electronic music. And it, it, it was fantastic. my job in Yakam, uh, most part yeah. of the time. I can give you a simple example. We have uh, uh, some uh, equipment under the keys of a piano. Yes. And uh, it's, we call that MIDI system. That means uh, the computer can detect uh, 127 different maneuvers to to play yeah. Yeah. from pianissimo and fortissimo. That means it's, it's a little clock. Yes. And the clock is is running when the keys is uh, yes. in that direction, yes. Yes. and after it stops, and we can d detect the um, uh, rapidity. Uh, yes, rapidity. Uh, yeah, the rapidity yeah. of, the of speed. The speed yes. of, of the, of the, the keys. keys, and that is a good measure of intensity of dynamics. Yes. Because when you yes. want to play fortissimo, you you have to press very yes. uh, yes. fastly yes. the keys, and when you play pianissimo, you have to press very slowly. Oh. And uh, we can take what is this parameter of, yes. of the dynamics. Yes. And of course, uh, if you have this parameter, you can decide, for example, uh, if the, um, uh, the velocity or the intensity is uh, fortissimo, yes. you can have, for example, very fast uh, spatialization. 
Yes. And if yes. Uh, the, uh, the music is still pianissimo or decrescendo, yes. the spatialization is making a ralentendo so, or something yes, like that. Yes, yes, and yes. you can con make, make many connections yes. uh, between some part of the music. Or it, it can be the, the, the pitches, the velocity, yes. uh, dynamics, uh, the tempo, yeah. or for the voice, for example, the, yeah. the uh, timbre of, of yes. the vowels. So. Yes. And if you have some system to, to, to make an analysis of this kind of of yeah. uh, part of, of the, of the mm -hmm. musical or the, yes. the, the musical um, aspect yes. after you can decide to use this musical af uh, aspect yes. as a parameter to control uh, the transposition or uh, tempo or yes. uh, and uh, oh, it's simple in, to explain yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's complex to, to realize be, yes of must course must be terribly hard yeah. to uh, yeah. must be very complex and for that we, we, we need some a very powerful computer that that means yes. the computer uh, we call that real time uh, but it is not real time because we need time to make to perceive. can perceive the yeah. the time of the calculation You said you were uh, working on an opera now. Are you using the same technique also? Yes, uh, but much more developed now. Uh -huh. uh, because, uh, for example, I am do doing uh, in that opera many innovations, uh, principally in terms of spatialization. Uh -huh. We have uh, 16 tracks in real time. So that means we have 16 loudspeakers in, in the concert hall. Yes. Uh, and uh, we have a specific um, uh, spatialization system. Uh, and we can make very complex and very fast movement of the sounds. Uh, yes. And uh, we have a lot, we have done a lot of experiment on, on this spatialization uh, yes. system. And also we have construct a new system to make a uh, um, chorus, artificial chorus. Oh, really? uh, uh, that means we, we, we can uh, uh, make a, a synthetic chorus uh, huh. yes. to, to, to sing uh, some aspect of music which is yes. impossible for a chorus to sing. Yes. To, yes, because, uh, and my opera is based on the the text of Kafka, the trial. Oh yeah. Yes, it, yes. Uh, it, it is an adaptation of this text, yes. and uh, it is in German. That oh. mean uh, it is the original text of, of Kafka. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, but with an adaptation from the theater, of course. Yes. And uh, it will be in in one hour and a half long, yes. more or less. Um, and you and you use the same technique. I mean, uh, instrumentalists and singers. Yes, but is is inside the opera is is difficult to have the same complexity because, for example, if you want to make um, uh, some inter interaction between uh, singers and the computer, you must have a microphone or something like yes. that, yes. and you don't know what is the idea of of the scenographer. Yeah. And if, he, yes. uh, if, if it is difficult to to make the, the same complexity uh, as in a concert. In a concert, you, yes. you can be sure yeah. the singer will be uh, or sitting on maybe she will yeah. not don't move yes. uh, of the stage and and she has, she has just to sing. In a theater, uh, uh, if if the scenographer want, want to make some, I don't know, uh, to 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 ask to the singer to. To 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 be uh, on the floor, on the floor, yes. to run or something yes. like that. Yes. Uh, it is on another um, level of of of, uh, of complexity, yes. and uh, we can make the same um, uh, the same uh, level of interaction between electronic and music because there is a theater also, yes. and yes. it's it's too too complex and yes. and also because uh, in the in the opera. For example, we we can have um, many many rehearsals. Uh, for example, in in uh, for one chamber piece, uh, if we have some um, some um, accident in with with the computer, for example, if the computer yes. stop, yes. uh, if you are just three or two instrumentalists, is not 
problematic. You have to wait, and uh, yes. but when you have uh, quite hundred people in the, in yes. the pit, yeah, of course, uh, yeah. it, it is, the situation is, is completely different yeah. uh, because it's very heavy. Yes. And uh, sure. but I, I use a lot of electronics. That means that the same idea is, for example, the electronic is following the um, conductor. Yes. It is it is a, a keyboard in the pit, mm -hmm. and uh, the keyboard player will follow the conductor. And yes. if the conductor makes a fermata, he will follow him, and he makes a crochet yeah. accelerant over and uh, It's yes. the same idea of, of uh, the tempo is completely integrated yes. in the with the orchestra. Yes. It is not uh, like a tape or something. Uh, yes, uh, very so the computer is actually being played by a, by a performer. Yes, yeah. of course. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And myself, I will be in the in the audience to make all the the uh, the balance and yes. uh, the mixing I the, see. between the orchestral the singer yes. and the electronic. So you control the yes. dynamics. Yes, yeah, the dynamics. Yes. Do you have any thoughts about uh, about what's where we're going and what what more is coming? I mean, uh, right now many yes. different uh, styles, styles coexist, yeah. you know, and, and keep coming. Something new keeps coming up. That's yeah. I, I, I am not uh, I am I yeah uh, I am not the prophet, and I can yes, yes. I, no, I, 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 I cannot I understand. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think, for example, now we are uh, composing a music. Uh, with more, uh, no more freedom, but with with uh, a larger um, um, tools, maybe tools. Yes, yes. Uh, if we compare with the, the music of the 60s, of the 50s, for example, yes. which was very yes. strict and yes, sure. and very important, of course. Yeah. And now we 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 have a, a lot of possibility to, uh, including the electronic, for example, but. Uh, uh, the style is, is not so strict, yeah. but uh, there are some so some musical style uh, which uh, I am not very satisfied. For example, all this um, neo tonalism music mm -hmm. and uh, neo modalism music, yeah. and all I think now it is not a question of to be tonal or atonal. Uh, we can use some. Uh, yeah. elements in, in uh, atonal music, yes. but um, I don't like the composer which want to uh, make uh, uh, complete tonal music and to yeah. to 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 uh, erase uh, all the yeah. music of our century. For sure. And I think now we, we we can have more freedom in the style. This is, is a, Yes. Uh, and also because we have an uh, experiment of hearing music much more um, uh, developed than before. Because uh, since after the war, uh, we can have uh, radio, television, yes. and CD, and uh, yeah. records. And, yes. and it's a lot of uh, possibility to hear music and to, to have contact of different kind of music. Yes. Before the war, for example, the last war, uh, all the musicians are more uh, isolated yes. in, in their country, yes. and the communication was not so fast. Yes. It was, sure. And I think this p development of, of, uh, of possibility of communication with, principally with loudspeakers and with yeah. the radio, and with, that uh, give for some composers, and uh, for many composers, uh, the possibility to be um, uh, influenced with many different kind of music yes. that could be African music, that could yes. be uh, uh, sure. uh, Indian music or uh, classical music. Sure. And uh, because we, we have the possibility to know um, an enormous uh, field of, of yes. different music. Yes. Uh, and that is an, it's not a new situation. But if you compare this situation uh, with the situation in the 50s, for example, or yes. before the war, yes. that is for me the most important modification. So just the volume of, yes. of possibilities because the aware, the interaction. Yes, and yeah. the, the, the music can travel from one, one, one country to another very fastly. Yes. And now with the computer, with the internet, is. Yes. Is yes, also sure. another uh, 
um, quick possibility. A quick possibility. Yes. Thank you very much okay. for your thoughts and uh, appreciate okay. your time and it's a pleasure and thank you again for a great piece. It's, a, it's thank a you. honor to have you write for us.